Hi, welcome to KTV5 video tutorial. Another user wish, and I call this Beehive. Yeah. So these are hexagons, and these are somehow stretched hexagons. And I had time, and it was interesting to do. So let's have fun with KTV5. So let's start in the generative shape design environment uh, workbench. I could use another body and I need a sketch maybe on that plane. Hide as usual, yellow projected elements. Then I need two circles, one circle, second circle. Put this point right there, coincident, and over there, coincident. Add diameter, maybe 400, and this one might be 200. And then I need two construction lines. One. second one trim make them symmetric to the axis right here okay then I need intersection points One, two, three, and four. Select those points with the user selection filter, maybe like this, okay? And make them standard points and make an output feature. And I want to output these circles as well. It's not necessary, but why not? Okay, now let's change the graphic properties of these two circles, make them thinner and maybe a different color, make it cyan. Yeah? And the points should be maybe magenta. Okay. Now I need planes through point parallel to this one. So go for plane, make parallel through point. That would be cause deactivate the user selection filter that plane through this point and okay and another one parallel through that point okay now I need a sketch on that plane, hide as usual the yellow projected elements. Okay, and I'm on what plane? Sorry, forgot what plane happens. So make a sketch on this plane. Okay. Now I need a hexagon, so go for this one and maybe like this. 
and I want these two points to be at the center. Mm. Yeah, or I could do it. Yeah. So let's say this point is one over here and where's the other one? This point and that point should be coincident as well. Very nice. And that's constraint. Now I need another hexagon on that plane. So go for, sorry, still was selected, happens on that plane, hide those projected elements, and that would be another hexagon, or it's easier to do it with a normal profile tool. This would look something like this. Okay, make those parallel. two and that as well parallel and now let's move this a little bit in the right direction maybe over here and This point, or that one, should be aligned with this one. Coincident. This one with that one right here. Coincident. Is this okay? No, I didn't catch it. So. Try once again, this point and that point, this should work, yeah, and now this point and that one should be aligned and this one and that one as well okay and this should be of course parallel to that one and I'm done Okay, now let's make a multi-section surface between this profile and that profile. Go for coupling, should be vertices. And the closing point, just move this closing point over here direction is the same and confirm okay now I need two extrudes so go for extrude with this one in that direction make it mirrored make it let's say 50 no that's not enough so make it 
100. Doesn't matter. Another one. Merit extend. In the same direction. Okay. Now make an offset. Offset. There you go. Offset from this one. In that direction, yes. Make it 5 or make it 10. Okay. And another one from this one. Reverse direction again 10 and confirm. Now I could hide this and that one. Now let's split. Uh, where's my, there it is. Split this one with that one. Okay. And again split this one with that one. Okay. Hide and hide. So if you change that's the sketch, yeah, the angle from ten to five. Where is the angle? It's not visible. Maybe I didn't do an angle or I deleted it. Let's check. No, I didn't do an angle, so this might be 10. And it should update. Yes. Now I could hide this and that and those planes and those sketches as well. Hide and hide. Now let's switch to part design workbench and make this the active body. I want to add some material with thicken the surface, reverse direction, make it one point no zero point one millimeter for example, and just hide this last split this is done of course a little bit quick and dirty so I don't really care for some sort of order right here okay now I need a circular pattern with the current solid, that's okay. And reference element would be that axis. And I need 360 divided by 10, complete crown with 36 pieces. The preview image was with 72 pieces. But that's okay. Okay, now let's copy this body and paste it special as result with link and another one paste special as result with link now let's hide the original body and now I can move I could fix this one because I got constraints here as well. It's not really necessary. But now I can transform one body, turn it and move it. So go for first rotation. Yes. The axis would be that one. And the angle would be half of the angle I did in that sketch, so that would be 5 degrees. 
Now I have to move it up. And I could measure this. So let's do another transformation. Yes, direction would be this one. And let's check it. Go right there. The distance should be measured between. And that would be distance between. So this point should be up to this one. Or the other way around, doesn't really matter, the distance is the same. This point should go up to that point right here. And OK. And OK. Looks pretty good. Now let's hide that. 30.136 millimeters. Yes. Hide it. And now I could make a pattern, a rectangular pattern. But before I should add those together, make a union. So go for add and add body 4 to body 3. And OK. This takes a while. It really takes a while. With 72 it takes even longer. Okay, now let's make a rectangular pattern. And 2, and the spacing would be 2 times that measure. So, you could make a new measurement, but I will do it with this one. That would be 2 times 30 point one three six direction would be this direction and I go for let's say three instances again this takes a while but after this I'm done it really takes a while Come on. Okay, and I'm done. So, hope you enjoyed this one. Hope it was helpful. If you liked it, please give it a like or leave a nice comment. Please subscribe to my Facebook cat fan page and like it. Please, please like it. it would be very nice of you. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can follow me on Instagram as well, and on Twitter, and, 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 and. I'm almost in all world, all those social networks. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye-bye.